Okay, so up to this point, we have been looking at sort of algebraic objects, and in some sense, they're geometrical analogs. And we've been looking at them sort of one at a time. And we've had like, you know, one polynomial, and we want to solve it when it equals zero. Or we have, you know, one straight line. Or we have one circle. We have all sorts of objects. And we're sort of looking at them a la carte. What I want to now have us start to think about, and this leads into a whole new venue of sort of possibilities, is what happens when we look at some equations simultaneously. Sometimes this is called looking at systems of equations. So you have sort of a collection of objects, and you want to look at them all at the same time. What could that look like? Well, I want to start by looking at linear systems of equations. What that means is you have systems of equations where all the equations are, are basically linear. They always have just exponents of 1. There's no squares or cubes or square roots or anything really awful. It's very simple in some sense, just x's and y's appearing. OK, so what does it mean to have a system of linear equations? Well, it means that you have more than one. Now, if you have one linear equation, graphically anyway, you know that that can be expressed as a, as a straight line. Not a big deal. Now, what if you have two linear equations? Well, then you would have a second straight line somewhere. And if you want to solve these things simultaneously, what you're ask, ask, actually asking for is to find a value which satisfies both at the same time. And if you look at this picture, you can sort of see that it looks like it's where that crossing is. Because that's a crossing, that point, that x comma y, is shared by both this line and that line. All other points are actually not shared. So in fact, this is a system of two linear equations that has a solution, namely that one point. Okay? Let's forget about how it would look and how you'd solve it and so forth. Let's just get a sense of the fact that if you have two linear equations, you can have a solution of one point. What if the linear equations look like this? Suppose the lines are parallel. Well, then do they ever touch? Well, no, they would never touch. So in fact, this system of equations, of linear equations, would have no solutions because there's no point in common. You can't be both on the green and both on the black lines and at the same time because they sort of run parallel. You can never touch. Whereas here, there is a solution way up there. Do you think it's possible to have a solution more than just one solution? Or do you think either you have no solutions or you have one solution? What do you think? Well, it seems reasonable to say, well, there'll only be one solution because, you know, since it's a line, it doesn't sort of back up and hit itself again, right? So it seems like just if it's going to cross, it's going to cross at one place. True, but what if it turns out those two lines are identical? Woo! Ever think about that? Then, in fact, they intersect everywhere. So there's infinitely many solutions. That's really not that interesting, but it could happen. So the bottom line is we could either have all the solutions in common, meaning that the two lines are actually the same line, or we could have something like this. They crisscross, which is the most interesting example. Or in the very sad possibility when they're parallel, we have an inconsistent system because they don't actually intersect at all. There's no solutions. OK, so that's sort of visually what's going on here. What's going on here algebraically? After all, this is a course called Algebra. Well, if you think about it, we have two equations for a line. Let me just write them down sort of in general terms. So we have something like, um, I don't know, uh, ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are, are just some numbers, and I don't know what they are. But then I have another equation. See, so I have a system of them. So I'd have maybe um, dx plus ey equals f. So I have some different equation. And what I'd like to do is find out those values for x and y that actually satisfy both of these equations at the same time. So it's no longer a question of just solving an equation, because now I have two equations with two unknown variables. And I want to find out when both of these are satisfied at the same time. And there are a lot of different methods of algebraic methods of actually doing that, and actually, in some sense, seeing whether the two lines cross each other, are they parallel, or are they identical. And so what we're going to start to do are look at different methods for actually solving two equations in two unknowns at the same time. And these are known as systems of linear equations. Anyway, the methods for doing that and how it all plays out, we'll take a look at starting in the next lecture. I'll see you there.